Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 5, Episode 12, aka Damocles Part 1. It's a full, the full title reads very weird on screen. Anyways, hope you guys are doing good. We're going to get into this in just a moment. We had back in Episode 10, right? We had the issues with Octavia burning the, the algae farm, burning Monty's love yet again. Monty, who lost his mother twice. He had to kill her twice. Watched his best friend die. By the way, he killed his mother for Octavia. And she destroys that plant. Oh, the whole farm thing. Now, in episode 11, we get some of the trauma. Maybe why she wouldn't want to be down there in that bunker anymore because of the things they went through throughout the dark year of eating people. Because eating people 100% is going to fuck with your psycho system up top. Can't do it. If a human consumes a certain amount of human meat, they go fucking batshit bonkers. Anyways, but uh, I still I still lost some respect for her burning that farm because there was an alternative way with peace and saving people, and but I also get the the trauma that the the PTSD side of it the the pain that the character has to feel from going through having to making that decision to pop people because they was didn't want to eat their brother, which is still fucking wild, and also the parallels with the whole Jaha thing. Or not Jaha, excuse me, with, uh, well, I guess Jaha with the, the chip, which was, if we get Raven, we get everybody else. If we get Marcus, we get everybody else. So, that's where we're at. We're leading into battle. Octavia's leading her folks. There is no algae farm anymore. We're now going to fight over a strip of land, and we're going to see how this plays out. Long recap, but if you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. Links are in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. And Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. All right. Getting ready for a battle, my friend. Has he had that armor on? Two pill boxes. That looks really cool. I'll just ask. Just like Echo said. Y'all better, oh my gosh, she up here just letting that shit fly! Now, I'm not an expert on combat strategies, but them standing out in the fucking open like that while they're inside an armor thing doesn't seem that smart. It's working. They're moving out. Yeah, there we go. But, I get why it's going, but you just leave yourself open, you're just standing there? You can get fucking giffle gaffled like fucking... Uh, Justin Bieber in that when he was on that TV show. NCIS, New York City, Miami, Los Angeles, whatever the episode was. Crime scene investigators. I was about to say, bro, Murphy, you were Jonathan, you were so excited to use this fucking thing, figure it out. Be careful, you're gonna blow your damn shoulder out of socket. What I tell you? <laughs> this motherfucker, bro. Grabbing that with your bare hands? Oh, I don't run. You heard that, motherfucker, bro? Mother lover? That was actually really good. Okay, okay, okay. Is this where the tinderbox episode was? I don't know. If I just see like ledges and shit like that, he got blood on his forehead. Bro, I'm sitting here like, who's this white kid that just ran? Oh, he would be proud of you, bro. But you go take a permanent dirt nap. Go hang out with Jaha. Damn. Oh, here comes the fagonk. And that's how you make tomato paste. Oh, my fuck. Get on the ground. Granada. Oh, me, oh, my. Here comes big fagonk. Boom. Cue the intro. The hun. Road. They got fucking that shot landed right in between them and they flip like two little ragdoll rag muffins. And yet according to your book, we have everything we need right here. That's before God damn bro, she got hella preggers over the last couple days. We woke up and we thought you were alone. Right after
to your sword of Damocles speech. The sword of Damocles. Roll credits! Something I have to ask. The overdose. Was it an accident? No. No, nah, it wasn't no accident. No, nah, it wasn't. She was trying to bibbity bibbity bounce. She got a lot of weight and guilt on her shoulders. If you get Kane, you get them all. We will get through this too. Gabby. You scary. All of us. Maddie gone. Nah. Maddie went out the window, bro. Maddie. I'm ditching school. I don't want to be in here anymore. It smells like piss. With you. No, no, it's fine. She won't get far. You stay here and finish up. I'll bring her back. She'll just do it again. As long as that thing is in her head. I promised her I wouldn't take it out. What am I supposed to do? You're asking someone who sent a hundred kids to the ground to keep her own daughter from being floated. So whatever it takes, then. Whatever it takes. See that shit coming, bro. Get out there! Go save your little daughter. Look at grandma giving advice. I like Maddie, man. You would think one of the commanders at some point would have known how to get a car. Oh, never mind. Now let's go. Ah, I know Maddie's fed up with your shit. You took out the conductor. I changed the passphrase. I'm not a child. Wow. You can just do that. And my people are dying. You can just change the password. She tried to hit you with the Shinde Superior's Abracadabra. Exhausting. I understand the motives, but Jesus fuck, bro. You're just. I know that's rough for her, but doing a little more harm than you are good. Granted, you don't want the kid to go fight. I respect that as your daughter. You don't want her to go out there and put herself in harm's way. Maddie wants to make her own decisions. You put a goddamn dog collar on her. Zip zap her. That's a lot of turmoil. This is your fault. I don't feel like the snipers are that good. Maybe they can only see them stand up. Maybe they're at a different angle. But if I see your fucking chin move... Put your goddamn head down. You led them here. You burnt their farm and you made them march. These people are dead because of you. Don't you dare fucking move, you goddamn. What are they doing? Please, leave me alone. They don't give a fuck about your surrender, bro. We're going to make them blood bags. We got strapped to your chest. Explode. That's a bad day, Comprende. Oh my god. AB! You guys, was that AB positive or AB negative? Doesn't even matter. Kind of matters. Haley, it's me, Jackson. I'm handing out blood bags. Haley, I know you got a, you got some vampire in you as well now, being one of them there uh, hybrids and whatnot, so I'm going to go ahead and give you some blood just as well, Haley. All right, Miller, bro. Try to give him a little pep speech. Pep speech. Pep Smeech. I really just confused. I really just confused two phrases, which was pep talk and pap smear. Don't ask me why the latter. I have no idea. It ended up with pep Smeech. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got nothing. Oh my God, this man got a cramp. Give me a suture kit, something for his pain. We're all out. Of what? pain oh yeah we're wounded bro we got we got a lot of bad people we ain't got no supplies you better call 1-800 motherfucking mama abby or something i say call a doctor but jackson is a doctor he needs the tools and supplies right 
thinks when Wonker comes back, you'll tell the followers of the flame to follow her back through this gorge. If they no, don't, brother. everybody dies. Oh, brother. I'm stressed. I'm rocking in my chair. First we survive. Then we get our humanity back. Oh, first we survive, then we get our humanity back. Yes, he did. Remember? Yep, I remember. Pepperidge Five remembers. Galaxy. Far, far away. Why'd you pull your hand away? I wish I still believed it. Fingers shaking. Can y'all give a little smooch, make up a little bit? There you go. Rip that shit in half. Let that dust hit the ground. Fuck them drugs! Michael Myers, why are you standing outside this building like that, bro? What are you doing, venison menacing? Take off the collar before Clark gets back. <laughs> hey, bro, that smirk. Hey, bro, that fucking smirk on Raven's face. Safe to say she ain't up for Mother of the Year, bro. Get that mother lover, mother brother off there. It's nice to meet you, too. I like your head nose. Looks good. Clark done walked in like a fucking knockoff Sarah Connor with a goddamn glizzy gliz. This is how you say hello. Right. Sorry, Clark. Oh, there we go, Maddie. Yep. Yeah. Y'all come. Oh my god. Y'all fighting over Bellamy? Don't do that. He ain't that worth it. There we go. Oh, big knee. Oh, a lot of cuts going on. I saw the stunt double's face on that one. There we go. Wrap him up. Sleeper. Necklace off. Now what? For a split, for a split second, when she did that motion, I thought she snapped her fucking neck. Oh my lord. Oh. I had a whole moment of, it was 1.3 seconds. I feel like with the whole with Maddie changing the password thing in the back of her neck, I feel like there's going to be a moment in time. Could be this in the next hour and a half left of the show, or it could be next season, maybe the last season. Since she changed the password, where Clark will either figure out like she always does, like she'll figure out like the word or like oh this is what Maddie would change it to, uh bippity boppity boop, and then it's going to come out, or somebody else says it randomly but i don't think it would be something simple It'd be a a, a shinde a brende apprentice padawan whatever the fuck a shinde supremus i feel like it would be another like latin word or maybe something else in a different language i'm really curious what we should change it to now it has my interest mm -hmm. to say the least most addicts fall off the wagon in the wake of personal tragedy. Did you know it's true. the death of a loved one, for instance? They both knew they were looking for this. I don't know what's about to happen right here between these two. I think Vincent got a little bit of a thing for Abby. The nurturing side of her. Taking care of him. He hasn't had any weird moments with her. And now Marcus comes in here. Potentially, I'm just going off a limp. I, you know, I could be wrong. Oh. Bro, did he just stab him 11 times? Oh my god! Choke slam! Trauma to the back of the head! Oh, he's trying to eat him! That motherfucker bit into him!
She done seared and fried it. He done took a chunk of meat out the side of your neck. Oh, he got stabbed so many times. He knows! Kane, don't do it. Facts. Kane, don't do it. What kind of flame keeper? Is it to have your own command and fend for herself? Keep fighting. There you go, Bell. Put, say some words out loud with your with your vibration cords in your throat. They shatter. They're shattered. They're shatter. Winner. Yes, you did. And because I was in trouble. That's right. I did it because I love you. I thought love was weakness. Isn't that what the commanders in your head tell you? Now you know better than that. All but one. One. Bro, that gave me a little bit of them cold chills up on my arms. Close my eyes. I see you. Outside the door at Mount Weather. Right after I left your ass. Ready for war. And then I walk away. And then I walk away. That's why I spit in your face. Or you spit in my face. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to date me? I'm out. Lexa protected her people by making a deal with the enemy, leaving Sky Crew to die. Yes. Just like I've done here. I don't need ghosts telling me what I've lost to protect you, Maddie. Clark. She's not a ghost. She's real. They all are. And you're wrong about why she's showing you that memory. Betraying you is her deepest regret. Dow. Good, because this shit pissed me off. Yeah. Because she doesn't want you to make the same mistake she did. Break the cycle. Break the effing cycle, dog. I yeah. am too. Yeah. But I have to do this. You got this. And you have to let me. Let me make my own decisions. <laughs> I know it's hard. You're the, 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 the bird's leaving the nest. My sister, my responsibility? What the fuck are you talking about? Yes. Well, that rattled her ass. Her heartbeat is slowing. My brother. Wow, she gonna flip it? My responsibility. Wow. Really just gonna flip it like that? And we really just let her run out there in the open Bellamy. Now you know. Then you ain't even fucking try to aim at shit or nothing. You are enemy of one crew. Choose! Nah, they got. They done beat up a rifle behind her. Yeah. Oh, coming in with the motherfucking Glizzy Glack Lock. Motherfucking Maddie up in there in the Rover Rover. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to sacrifice your ass. Oh my good lord almighty. Wilhelm scream. Jonathan's just a little bit of an adrenaline junkie. To be continued. Which, all right, let's be real. This is usually how stuff goes. It may not be the case for this show, but if we have a up moment to end 512, 513 may not end on the best note possible because oh, this is just this is just me. This is just me. All right. Some of you guys don't like these things, but I'm gonna spin it here at the end real quick for 512. If you want to have a part two make the audience really wait a week and not know what's going on because it is a finale, you know, two-part finale. 
you have that same scene, basically. You have Octavia go out there into the middle. Octavia fires. She runs out of ammo. Click, click, nothing. Holds the gun out, drops to her knees. And she looks up at those lights, and you have the lights slowly encompass her. And then you play the sound. Well, you have the light slowly encompass her. She kind of has a moment where she looks, kind of takes in like a slow blink, kind of reminiscent of how Lincoln did, kind of having that moment, maybe catching some moonlight or some stars since it is dark, right, through the trees. Kind of have that being showcased. And then kind of have her close her eyes as she kind of closes, not on her face, but like off to the side. As she closes her eyes, screen goes black. Machine gun fire. Or you have machine gun fire as the screen goes black. And then you have to be continued on it. Now you have a week of the audience thinking. You'd have most of, you'd have a good chunk of people being like, oh my God, they just opened fire on Octavia. Or you'd have the other half be like, somebody else is opening fire to save Octavia. And then you would have the, the bit of people who are, connecting the dots to know but obviously from this episode Clark gave Maddie the keys that could be the rescue showing up or they're going to milk Octavia's death because she's an important character something like that that's just how my brain works when I see things like that so as battle erupts a betrayal leads to catastrophe Maddie defies Clark over the fate of one crew Octavia faces the consequences of her recklessness her wanting to sacrifice herself is kind of a big deal because she she sees she knows one crew is broken and it's her fault. So she wants to make the sacrifice to help Gaia survive to be the flame keeper to Maddie, essentially. Clark kind of has like a double turn throughout the show. Shaw is they're showing his connection with Raven growing. Jonathan's kind of arc playing in. It's, we didn't really get a too much of Monty, but we also have an issue with Miller, who's having some sort of stomach problem. He could just have irritable bowel syndrome for all we know. Kane got stabbed 11 times and got a hole bitten out of his neck. And him and Abby had that moment to kind of just be there together. If that is Kane's final moments, I think they did that perfectly. Because Kane's last moment in 512 is him kind of fading. And then it cuts away from them and it doesn't go back the rest of the episode. So I think that was done perfectly. So, Season 5, Episode 12 is entitled Damocles Part 1. The next episode, obviously, is Damocles Part 2, and that's going to wrap up Season 5, which will be tomorrow, and then the day after will be the recap for Season 5. And that is where we are at, I think. I think this war continues. I think McCreary for sure dies in the next episode. Something plays out. They may keep Dioza around for a little bit. I don't know why. I don't know if it'll be somebody winning the land. I definitely think something is going to play out here. Fucking Vincent's death was wild. Because Abby just turned that shit on and let him... Which is funny because Clark got zapped. And then he... Get, I don't know. Just a weird, small connection. They, who's that one person? Burl? Is introduced for three scenes? Okay. Anyways, I will see you guys for the finale tomorrow. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.